In this tutorial, I'll teach you step-by-step -step how to create your own lower third animations for your videos to make your videos more dynamic and engaging. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here, you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's say I am editing a video of my travels and want a lower thirds animation to pop up along with the city and country of the place in my video. I already have the video I'm using on the video track on my timeline. Now I'll go to the Media tab and under Backgrounds, select Solid Colors. Drag your desired color to the overlay track and adjust the length to the duration you want your lower thirds animation to last for. We're going to use this color as the background for some title text. If you want to change this color, you can double click on the overlay layer, then select Color Picker, Corel Color Picker, and select the exact color of your choice. Drag on the nodes on the preview pane to adjust the size and positioning of the background. Now right click on the overlay and go to Motion, Customize Motion. For this lower thirds animation, I want the animation to fly in from the left and later to fly out the same way it entered. To do this, we need to add some extra keyframes and create motion paths. I'm going to drag the playhead about half a second in and select Add Keyframe. Then I'll click on the first keyframe and adjust the X position until the layer disappears off screen. Now, if we press play to preview, you'll see the lower thirds animation flies in on screen. Now drag the playhead to where you want the animation to fly out, about half a second before the final keyframe. Again, select Add Keyframe. Then select the final keyframe and once again adjust the X position until the layer disappears off screen. Let's press play to preview. Now we're ready to put a title on top of this animation. First, we're going to save this as a custom path, which will save us from having to manually set up the same keyframes for the title later. Go to Save To, then name the path, and select Path Only, since we only want the text to follow the overlay's position. Then press OK. Click on the Title tab, and double click on the preview pane to add your text or title. I'm going to put Cairo, Egypt for my travel vlog. Readjust the size and positioning so it fits nicely in the overlay shape. And adjust the length so it matches the overlay as well. Then click on Motion Paths and drag the path you just saved on top of the title overlay. Now, when you press play to preview, your text will follow the same motion path and fly in and out along with your text box. If you want to save this lower thirds motion graphic we've just created to use in future projects, we'll need to export it as a .mov file. Click on the Share tab and select MOV. Then select the alpha channel video type that matches the resolution you want to export. I'll select 1920 by 1080. Under Export Track, select Overlay Track, since we only want to export the graphic animation and not the background video or title. Choose a file name and location, and then click Start. Now we can import this to use in future projects by going to the Overlays tab, select a submenu, and then right-click and select Insert Decoration. Locate the .mov file you've just saved and click Open. Now you can drag and drop it onto the overlay track to use again in future projects. Now I want to show you a more advanced option of making lower thirds animations. You can see I have a video and shapes on two overlay tracks. I've used a solid color on overlay track 1, and a textured background found in the background media library on overlay track 2. This time I want the green shape to fly down from the top and the textured background to fly in from the left. First, I'll right-click on the rectangle on overlay track 1 and select Customize Motion. 
Then I'll add a keyframe half a second in. Then select the first keyframe and adjust the Y position so it flies in from the top. I'll repeat the same step with the second shape, adding a keyframe half a second in. Then select the first keyframe, but this time adjust the X position so it flies in from the left. I'll go ahead and export this as a .mov file, following the same steps we took earlier and selecting the export track as overlay. Now I'll import the .mov file we just created and delete the other layers from the overlay track. This is because I want to show you how to save this as a custom title with text. I'll double click on the preview pane and add the title of my choice. In this case, I'll type out Joe Smith, Vice President. Now I'll drag the motion graphic we just created onto the title layer. You'll see that a number will now appear showing that there are two objects stacked together in this title. Click on that number and select the .mov file. Double click on the overlay on the preview pane and under the Edit tab, select Alignment Options. Then select Original Size so the motion graphic restores to the original size. You can click on the number once again and select the title to reposition it so it fits nicely on top of the animation. To save this to use in future projects, right click on the title track and select Merge and Save as Template and save to the folder of your choice. You can reuse this lower third animation in future by dragging it from the title folder it was saved into onto the title track on the timeline. We can click on the number on the title track, then select the title, and click to edit and change the text for our new project. These are a few ways you can create your own custom lower thirds animations for your videos. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.